Tesla Giga Berlin is primed for production ramp, according to German officials. So some German officials have stated that Tesla Giga Berlin's facility for electric vehicles is ready for a dramatic production ramp of electric vehicles during a meeting with the IG Metal Labor Union. IG Metal Labor Union is the biggest in Germany. German officials from the state of Grünheide met this morning with representatives of IG Metal, a labor union representing metal workers in Germany, which includes automotive, regarding the Tesla Giga Berlin facility. And according to the economic minister of state, Jörg Steinbach, the state Tesla facility should push for a production ramp. Looks like these are officials from Brandenburg. At the podium, the minister stated, quote, Tesla production has to grow up a bit more, leading to the question, why does the minister think the ramp is possible? While the economic minister, Mr. Steinbach, was not immediately available for comment regarding why he believes Giga Berlin is now capable of production growth, what has changed at Tesla Giga Berlin, two main factors are likely contributing to his confidence of Giga Berlin's growth to produce more electric cars. A growing number of staff, which I've already reported, and the physical expansion of the plant. Since beginning production less than a year ago, the Giga Berlin facility has already been working on expanding rapidly. This has included a physical expansion of the property and a near constant hiring frenzy by Tesla. This has allowed the facility, which currently produces Tesla Model Y electric crossover vehicle, to reach higher and higher production numbers. Giving some scale to the situation, according to comments reported by Reuters, Tesla has consistently been onboarding roughly 200 to 300 people per week, now hitting a total workforce at Giga Berlin of 9,000 people. Last time I reported, I think a week or two ago, it was 8,000. Now we're talking about 9,000. At the same time, other local manufacturers have continually struggled with workforce acquisition. How Tesla succeeds? hiring more people. Let me know your thoughts on that, friends. As for the physical expansion of the plant, Tesla has not only cleared sections of forest to make room for production expansion in the future, but the company has also opened parallel facilities to deal with manufacturing waste and recycling. Remember that I reported that Tesla also used the airport parking lot to park its cars. However, it hasn't been all good news surrounding the German Tesla Giga Berlin facility. IG Metal, the union that organized today's talks, has alleged that workers at the facility aren't receiving adequate time off or rest. German media is full of this news. Further, it noted that employees at the facility have not felt able to bring these concerns to their superiors. Tesla has yet to respond to these allegations, and it remains unclear if the workforce conditions have been changed in, in response. However, this morning I read in German media that Tesla has also responded with prior its own allegations. Tesla's recent price cuts added production of one more, actually um, have included increased the production and uh, more more people are apparently buying Teslas. The record high for Model Y production was reached at the end of last year with 3,000 vehicles at Giga Berlin produced per week at the Berlin facility. Now it may be more than that. While no estimates were provided at the meeting regarding how high production numbers could go right now or after this ramp, many anticipate the production sailing is now far higher than 3,000 vehicles per week at Giga Berlin. As European Tesla sales continue to grow in the new year, Giga Berlin will become an ever more important production location for Tesla. Hopefully Tesla will be able to limit wait times and implement a production ramp quickly at Giga Berlin in the first quarter of this year. So I will report the latest about Giga Berlin in this channel as I have before. So friends, if you guys are interested to hear more about that, let me know. If you would like to know what Tesla said, I saw that briefly in German media. Tesla had its own points and Tesla spoke through its workers council, you know, um, in uh, kind of uh, in contrast to uh, union IG uh, metal union Tesla had set up workers council to raise the issues of workers at Giga Berlin this this is kind of to counter uh, IG metals um, uh, efforts to enter Giga Berlin, to unionize Giga Berlin, which Tesla doesn't like. I read in German media that Tesla, uh, actually IG Metal, is, uh, has set up a, an, an office at Funk Schloes, uh, train station, which is the tra closest train station to Giga Berlin. And as people go to them uh, for questions as they go home and come back to work, 
Uh, German media says that uh, they're asking them a lot of questions about how things are going at Giga Berlin internally and Tesla doesn't like this and uh, so Tesla has a response if you guys are interested in what Tesla has I think there's a German publication T online they had the response of Tesla but if you are interested let me know I can report this in my next report if you are interested this is Armin Haryan God bless you let me know what your expectations are from the Tesla Giga Berlin's ramp uh, coming uh, in the next month about which York Steinbach who has been a great Tesla supporter, spoke today at the meeting with IG Meadows. Have a great day. Give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you soon in our next report.